So before we start the readings, you know that I always use the singing bowl. Um, of course, I'm going to invoke uh, my higher self, the, the Holy Spirit, our beloved universe, our beloved Mother Gaia, fairies, angels, archangels, and last but not least, my ancestors. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know, clear your energy and space and mine as well. Uh, and I'm going to be invoking Archangel Uriel. So let's get started. Archangel Raphael to send healing energy to those that need it. If you are open, embrace it. Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And Archangel uh, Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with unconditional love, peace, unity, happiness, returning to good health, abundance in any shape, way, or form, happiness, joy, and whatever else, and anything else that you want to add on, you could add on, you know, and uh, of course, uh, protection. To the highest divine power. Perfect. I just want to take a moment to send a virtual hug from my mom, Giovannina, my daughter, Bianca, and myself, all my family, my fur babies, to extend you a virtual hug. Everything's going to be okay. We're sending you love, light, peace, and protection. We love you all very much. We all do. And uh, I want to thank everybody here that, uh, again, I keep mentioning it because I, it's, you know, if it wasn't all for all of you here, I would not be here at YouTube, uh, my, my beautiful subscribers. And um, for those of you that have been with me from the beginning, um, thank you so much for uh, being with me on my journey. You've seen the changes. You've seen what I've been through. Uh, we've been through this together, hand in hand. And for those of you that came halfway or recent or new, Thank you for being here. Welcome, and um, for my for my community, my family, my soul tribe family, my friends. Thank you as well. A big thank you to all of you. And now let's get started with your readings. See you soon. Hi, Cancers, and welcome back to your uh, reading, heart to heart, soul to soul. This is from December thirteenth to the nineteenth, and it's all signs. Okay. So uh, what's going to happen if sometimes, uh, you know, depending on um, which sign that comes out, sometimes there's more cards than others because it depends the energy of the collective, okay, uh, in what that has to be said because this is about being vulnerable. Could This could be about you or anybody that you are dealing with or someone that you haven't spoken to. This could be a message that you're relaying to someone or someone is relaying messages to you. If I don't have the cards, let's say, you know, I get to the end and there's no cards, I'm going to have to... Please bear with me, take the cards again, reshuffle them so that I can finish the cards because that could happen. I think it happened in my Scorpio reading that I had the, to uh, retake the whole cards again, okay? Uh, so uh, let's look at this, what's happening here. Now, if someone out there could put the timestamps time of the signs, that would be so awesome if you would do that for me. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Okay, and uh, let's see here. 
Okay, so Cancer, if you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces, they have regret. Uh, you deserve more. They're feeling nostalgic. It's hard for me to explain things. They're feeling annoyed. They're asking you, wait for me. Anything else for Pisces? Yes. They're blocking. I am trying to figure things out. I miss you more than you know. I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. I'm still moved by you. I am overcoming my fears, and they have anger if you're dealing with a Pisces. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Scorpio. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're hopeful. I don't care what people think anymore. I remember everything you said. They're feeling frustrated. They have bitter. They're feeling bitter. I want your attention. They're bored. Trust me. I am working on myself. Anything else for Scorpio? They have envy. They're feeling nostalgic. I regret how I handled things before and no one else matters now. They have guilt. You were so unexpected. And there's a secret here. One more card. Yes. They're confused. And they're controlling if you're dealing with a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Cancer, a Gemini, they're passionate. I am choosing you. They have grief. If I, I, if I had only known then what I know now, I don't want to miss my chance with you. I won't let you go. They're guarded. I can't walk away. They have shame. The changes are real and they are excited. If you're dealing with a Taurus cancer, a Taurus. I want to be vulnerable with you. I've been having weird dreams about us. They have good intentions. They're wishy-washy. You are hard to forget. Our eye contact is insane. You are twin flames. I'm overcoming. I'm overthinking everything. I, they're indecisive. And also they're excited. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Capricorn... There is fear. There is fear if you're dealing with a Capricorn. You're safe. I'm afraid to trust. They're anxious. They're honest. I just want to go back in time. They're feeling distant at this time. There's passion. They're calm. They're nervous. You are old flames or old friends or old, like old soulmates here. I don't want to let you down. You are the one if you're dealing with a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Libra, Cancer, a Libra, my nerves get the best of me sometimes. They're in denial. Libra. I don't want to talk much. You give me so much to look forward to. You're compassionate. My kar karmic story is ending. You're hard they're heartbroken. You are, you are the only one who truly gets me. Your words speak to me like no others can. Anything else? I want to talk to you. And they have repressed emotions if you're dealing with a Libra. If you're dealing with a Aquari an Aquarius, Cancer, Aquarius, be patient 
with me, please. I'm sending you telepathic messages. They're feeling triggered. They have resentment. They have joy. They're cold. They have repressing emotions. They're angry. They're stressed. You hit me out of nowhere. They're apologetic. I am making plans. They're daydreaming. I had no idea you would end up meaning so much to me. I want a future with you. They're loving. And you change my whole direction. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. I think I'm going to have to take the cards again. If you're dealing with a Virgo Cancer. A Virgo. Okay. Virgo has a lot to say too. So if you're dealing with a Virgo, they have guilt. I can't stop thinking of you. I just need more time. They have gratitude. They have sadness. They're fantasizing, and I'm ready for more than uh, I'm ready for more than just text messages. You will always be my secret love. Suddenly, all the songs I hear are about you. So I'm gonna take the rest for Virgo, and then I'm gonna have to take more cards. I'm sorry I triggered you. What we have is soul recognition. We will be together again. They're feeling anxious, annoyed, they have doubts, and they're feeling stuck. If you're dealing with a Virgo, okay? So now just give me a few seconds, uh, Cancers, okay? Because I really don't want to close the camera for this. Okay, it's, gonna, it's not going to take me long to do this, okay? Because I have to retake the cards again. Because when you do the whole, all signs, depending the signs, some of them take more cards than others. Okay, I noticed with Libra this week, uh, they don't want to actually share much at this time, okay? They're really, uh, some Libras are really heartbroken at this time. Okay, I think these are all the cards. Oh, okay, these are what I did up to now. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle them. Thank you for your patience as I tackle the last few signs. time okay let's continue heart to heart so so if you're dealing with a Aries so if you're dealing with an Aries they have doubts they have guilt if I had only known then what I know now if you're dealing with an Aries I regret how I handled things before. They have gratitude. They have guilt. Very the, the guilt card came out twice. I want to be vulnerable with you. You were so unexpected. They're fantasizing. Be patient with me, please. Is there anything else? Yes. They could also be angry. They could be feeling stressed. They have repressing emotions. They're in denial and you hit me out of nowhere. If you're dealing with an Aries. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius Cancer. Oh boy. Wait a second. I am afraid to trust. They are guarded. They're bitter. They're nervous. I am overthinking everything. They have grief. They're feeling nostalgic. They're honest. They have regret. You are hard to forget. You're feeling wishy-washy. I am still moved by you. I just need more time. And suddenly all the songs I hear are about you if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Leo, Cancer, Leo, I can't stop thinking of you. I'm ready for more than just texts. The changes are real. They're distant. I can't walk away. I don't want to miss my chance with you. Anything else for Leo? Yes. They're calm and I am choosing you if you're dealing with a Leo. Oops. And you will always be my secret love. They're envious. You are the one and they have passion if you're dealing with a Leo. Last but not least, Cancers, if you're dealing with another Cancer or this is how you're feeling. 
you're excited. Or there's, I miss you more than you know. They're feeling annoyed. My karmic story is ending. They have good intentions. They're feeling nostalgic. I just want to go back in time. You give me so much to look forward to. They're bored. No one else matters now. They have anger. Anything else for cancer? Yes. Our eye contact is insane. They're loving. Anything else for cancer? I had no, no idea you would end up meaning so much to me. I want a future with you. They have shame. And again, there is excitement in the air. You deserve more. Anything else for cancers? Yes. Joy. So I hope that you enjoyed uh, Heart to Heart, Soul to Soul, my beautiful Cancerians. This is going to be all signs for all week, every, every week. So don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember that we are one and we are love. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.